If you ever put a primer into a 380 case instead of into a 9mm case, you just felt fury pour out of your veins? Go ahead, comment down below. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Nico Detour, and today I might have your next game changer for your loading setup. Stick around to the end to find out. So we got a special treat for you guys today. I got my old school Dillon case figure here with the upgraded Dillon variable speed motor put on it. So it's going to be an upgrade over the factory one that came with it because it seized up. I need a replacement. So, so we ended up with this one. And while we were shopping, we decided to indulge ourselves and our credit card with the new double alpha improved case feeder plate. We're going to try it out today and see how fast it'll feed. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. All right, in the name of science, we're gonna keep it simple. We have our factory Dillon shell plate. We have our upgrade double alpha shell plate for the Dillon case feeder. We have our handy dandy double alpha case gauge. Obviously, they're not sized or anything. We just have it in the case gauge, so you can see it's a hundred cases exactly. Different head stamps, whatever doesn't matter for this test today. We're just going to throw the factory Dillon in, we're going to run on the clock, see how long it takes to feed 100 cases through this case feeder with the factory Dillon plate. Then we're going to switch it out and do it with the double alpha case feeder plate. That's simple. Let's see who wins. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have it all set up. We've got the timer up, case catcher, and we got the cases loaded. Let's run it and find out. All right, case feeder is locked and loaded. Timer's ready. 100 cases in the case feeder. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> So that was one of the faster times out of the three, but unfortunately it had two jams. The slowest was 128 with no jams. And that was just that one round going round and round. Let's go ahead and switch out the plates and see what the new double alpha can do. Dylan case feeder plate, Dylan hopper turned up to 11. 100 cases in effect. My marks get set. Go! There's a jam for you. <clears throat> Little J. 
jam action. Let's get it fixed and get back to it. All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. We got our handy dandy brass catcher, we got our timer, we got the factory Dylan plate, watching its competitor in action, and we got the double alpha plate locked and loaded with 100 cases, double alpha deflector. Let's see who wins. Let's see if we make this bad dog run. Mark, get set, go. One little round ticking around again. I stopped it and started it for a second. So again, around 35 seconds. Not bad. All right, with the new double alpha case deflector installed, I wanted to go back and give the factory Dylan case feeder plate another shot at the title. So here we go. 100 cases in effect. Timer ready. Mark, get set, go. <laughs> Fast. I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes and face the glass Keep the snacks in Nope, another jam Alright, if you guys liked it Think it's gonna improve your roll size here Or Mark 7 or... Dylan Automated Mark Salmon or whatever machine you have, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. It's going to help the channel. I have no idea. I'm just here for the violence. So there it is, guys. Double Alpha Academy Shell Plate came home to champ. 35 seconds on the rough average versus the minute 20 average of the Dylan Factory Plate. That's a huge improvement for me when I'm running my roll sizer and my automated machine. I need something that can keep up with it. So time is money, right? We want to get done faster so we can go about our day, spend it with our family, go back to making money so we can come back and reload some more ammo. The cons. The cons for me on the double alpha plate were brand new, out of the box, dropped in, and on this little metal plate up top for the shell adjuster, it actually would squeak as it would go round and round, and I cleaned it real well, didn't matter what I did. The only thing that changed was I had a little bit of oil on it, squeak went away. No big deal. I can live with that. Uh, other issue, you guys saw uh, at speed, it almost seemed like it was binding or slowing down. I think that's just the clutch system or whatever like we talked about. Or the factory Dillon motor just needs a little bit more torque. So, not a big deal. It still beat out the factory plate, right? Uh, the other issue you guys noticed was without the their shell plate deflector, it did cause jamming consistently. So make sure you run it with a deflector plate. And as far as running the deflector plate with the factory Dillon, maybe I just didn't have it set right, but this test was just mainly to see the comparison of against the double alpha equipment versus the factory Dillon. So 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe I should go back, do a different test, change it up, give the factory deal and play a better shot at the title. We'll come back and try it out. Other than that, um, yeah, it's worth it to me. I'm going to go to double alpha and probably buy another one for my other machine now. So keep up that speed.